Ah, Christmas, my favorite time of the year. Not because I get to spend time with my family or open up some sick prezzies, but because I know that they'll rerun my favorite Christmas slash psychological horror film on TV, Tim Allen's The Santa Claus 2. Starring my favorite movie character slash mechanical Mussolini, robot Nazi Tim Allen Santa. Seriously, I don't know who the scarier Christmas movie character is, robot Nazi Tim Allen Santa or a CGI Tom Hanks from the Polar Express. But even though he might be one of the greatest film and television actors of his generation, did you know that Tim Allen also stars in video games? That's right, the man with a thousand grunts has also appeared in some classic titles that have made many prestigious video game lists, such as Seven Strangers games that were actually released. And first, we gotta go back to the days of the classics, the SNES. What a roster that system had, Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, Super Castlevania 4, and of course, Home Improvement, Power Tool Pursuit. Uh? Now, I do seem to remember a distinct lack of flamethrowers and dinosaurs in the TV show, but don't let that minor oversight spoil it, cause this is the OG Tim Allen video game experience. The premise of the game is that somebody has stolen the new tools that Tim Allen was going to do a paid advert for on his TV show, and Tim, as a YouTuber, I can respect the grind. That's why this video is sponsored by NordVPN. So instead of calling the local authorities and going through the proper channels, Tim Allen decides to take justice in his own hands and hunt down the perpetrator to slaughter them with his arsenal of power tools, just like how he murdered Santa in the original Santa Claus movie. The game has four different stages to explore, except you'll probably only get to explore the first one because this game is bullshit snes hard. Enemies that take 5 million hits to kill, tiny ant enemies that are too small to hit most of the time, and platforming with instant death pitfalls despite the fact that Tim Allen handles like he's constantly on fucking roller skates. Health in this game works a lot like it does in the Sonic games, where you'll drop all your nuts and bolts on hit, then if you get hit without any, you'll die. With prior experience like this, I'm not sure why Tim Allen wasn't the voice actor for him in the Sonic movie. But probably the most impressive part of this game is the graphics on the Tim Allen character sprite. Damn, look at those mouth movements, that shit's better than Half-Life 1. But despite the game having incredible Tim Allen 2D sprite graphics, there is a distinctive lack of the grunting that Tim Allen in Home Improvement was known for. So I'm sorry Tim, but I'm only able to give this 5 robot Nazi Tim Allens out of 10. Next up, of course, we gotta go back to a classic movie-inspired video game. The franchise that pioneered the use of 3D techniques and totally changed the game for animation studios for the years to come. And I know what you're thinking, Toy Story 1, right? Well, due to what can only be assumed was a massive oversight, if you listen carefully... To infinity and beyond! Yeah, that ain't Tim Allen. But I'll tell you what he is in, Toy Story 2. The video game and the movie. He's in both of them, okay? Known for its repetitive gameplay, poor graphics, and mildly racist caricatures, Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue is a must-have for any vintage video game collector, and Tim Allen's performance in the game is what really makes it special. To infinity and beyond! Just incredible voice acting from Allen there. And that incredible voice acting is why he has gone on to continue to voice Buzz Lightyear in all of the newer franchises, just like in Disney Infinity. Listen to this incredible acting here. Spoken like a true space ranger, Woody. I couldn't agree more. Wait a sec, that's not Tim Allen either. That's an imposter. Why would you remove him as the voice actor, Disney? Was it the Nazi comments? I would have thought that'd be okay with you guys. But how could we talk about Tim Allen video games without talking about the game adaptation of the greatest of all of Tim Allen's acclaimed movie franchises? The Santa Claus 3, the escape clause for the Game Boy Advance. And despite being part of the big name Santa Claus franchise, IGN only gave this game a 4 out of 10, but you gotta remember that these are the same brain dead monkeys that gave Starbound a 9.1, so they clearly have no idea what they're talking about. Featuring high quality Tim Allen JPEGs, advanced key door mechanics, and the ability to berate your ex-wife, the Santa Claus 3 The Escape Clause was truly a game ahead of its time. It even has animation cancelling. Fuck that Castlevania shit. This is the truly greatest Metroidvania game of all time. 
you get to play as both Santa Tim Allen as well as the original Tim Allen as you seek to reclaim the North Pole after it was turned into a holiday resort by the evil JPEG of Jack Frost, so you can restore it to the child labour camp that it used to be. Unlike in most games, enemies and spikes don't damage you, they make you colder, and if you get too cold then you'll freeze into an ice cube and fucking die. There's also the security guards that will one hit kill you and they still freeze you to death because the developers were too lazy or possibly too scared to make an animation of Tim Allen being arrested. Some dumbass also decided to put these stupid elf intermissions between each of the chapters, like come on, I clearly want to play as Tim Allen here. There's also a Santa present delivery one between each, even after the ones where you're no longer actually Santa. I hope someone got fired for that. But the major problem with this game is that it's modelled after the shitty third movie instead of the second one with the Nazi robot Tim Allen in it, meaning that the most Kino movie character of all time is still yet to make a video game appearance. Big missed opportunity to not put a Santa Claus 2 game on the GameCube, Nintendo. So there it is, not only is Tim Allen one of the greatest actors of all time, but he is also among the greatest video game stars as well, right up there with Heavy TF2 and Mr Skyrim. But should Tim Allen be in more video games? Don't worry, that was a rhetorical question, of course he should. And like I said, the greatest Christmas movie of all time deserves its own video game, so get it trending. Hashtag we demand that Tim Allen's The Santa Claus 2 video game, please Nintendo make it happen. Keep it simple and catchy, you know? And make sure you like this video if you're pirating the home improvement video game right now, and also make sure to hit the subscribe button for more premium Tim Allen content. And now if you'll excuse me, the Santa Claus 2 is about to come on and I don't plan on missing it. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers.